Imagine standing at the edge of a vast ocean, the waves whispering secrets of the unknown. Each wave, a story of potential. Each ripple, a tale of opportunity. This vastness before you is much like the journey of life, brimming with uncharted waters, waiting for someone daring enough to explore beyond the ordinary. Now I ask you, have you ever yearned to set sail into this vastness, to rise above the ordinary and embrace the extraordinary that lies within you? Consider for a moment the difference between the ordinary and the extraordinary. It's not the grandiosity of one's actions, nor the magnitude of their achievements, but rather the depth of their courage to pursue a life beyond the confines of comfort and familiarity. The courage to transform dreams into tangible realities, to turn what is and into. What could be is what distinguishes the remarkable from the mundane. But how does one embark on this journey? How do we navigate the complex currents of life to reach shores, unseen, territories, unexplored? It begins with a profound yet simple shift in perspective, a willingness to see beyond the immediate horizon, to dream, yes, but more importantly, to act upon those dreams with unwavering conviction. The fabric of the extraordinary is woven not from the threads of mere wishes, but from the sturdy strands of action and perseverance. It's about painting the canvas of your life with bold strokes of resilience and dedication, about writing your story with the ink of relentless pursuit and passion. This journey of transcendence from the ordinary to the extraordinary is not reserved for a predestined few. It is an odyssey available to anyone willing to embrace the challenge, to anyone ready to question the status quo and venture beyond the comfort zone. It's for those who look at the stars and see not just a distant light, but a beacon guiding them towards their highest potential. But what holds us back? What chains anchor us to the shores of the ordinary, preventing us from sailing towards the extraordinary? Often it's the comfort of the known, the fear of, of failure, or perhaps the daunting question, am I enough? Let me assure you within each of us lies a reservoir of untapped potential, a wellspring of power waiting to be unleashed. To rise above the ordinary requires not just the vision to see beyond the immediate, but the courage to act, the resilience to endure, and the wisdom to navigate the journey. It demands a commitment to personal growth, to continuously sculpt the masterpiece that is your life, chiseling away the excess to reveal the extraordinary form hidden within the marble of the everyday. As we embark on this voyage together, let us pledge to cast off the moorings of complacency, to set our sails towards the horizon of possibility, and to navigate the seas of life with purpose, passion, and perseverance. For in the heart of the journey towards the extraordinary lies, the true essence of living, a testament to the boundless potential that resides within us all. Imagine for a moment a world where each individual dedicates themselves to their personal growth, a world where the pursuit of knowledge, wisdom, and self-improvement forms the cornerstone of one's existence. In this world, the boundaries of the ordinary are shattered, and the extraordinary becomes the norm. But where does one begin on this journey of self-discovery and growth? It starts with a commitment, a decision to invest in oneself, just as the most magnificent buildings require a solid foundation so too does the journey towards greatness rest on the foundation of personal development. Consider the power of self-education in a world bursting at the seams with knowledge where information is but a click away. Have you tapped into this vast reservoir? The pursuit of knowledge through books, seminars, workshops, and the sage advice of mentors can transform the very essence of our being. It sharpens our mind, enriches our soul, and empowers us to transcend the ordinary. Yet knowledge alone is not enough. It is but the fuel that drives the engine of change. The key to unlocking the door to the extraordinary lies in the application of this knowledge. It's in the doing, the experimenting, the failing, and the relentless pursuit of excellence that we truly grow. It's in the silent moments of reflection, in the heat of challenge, and in the crucible of experience that our greatest lessons are learned. Discipline and consistency, 
The silent warriors of personal development stand ready to guide us on this journey. Like the steady hand of a sculptor, they shape and mold us, chipping away at the excess to reveal the masterpiece within. Discipline compels us to rise each day with purpose, to commit to our goals, and to embrace the routines that forge the path to success. Consistency, its faithful companion, ensures that our efforts are not in vain, that each step, no matter how small, leads us closer to our dreams. And what are the obstacles that litter this path? The naysayers, the doubts, the fears that whisper tales of impossibility. Herein lies the true test of personal development. It is not the absence of obstacles that defines our journey, but our response to them like a river that bends and twists its way through the landscape. We too must learn to adapt, to find strength and flexibility, and to see each obstacle as a stepping stone towards greatness. Yet, in this relentless pursuit of growth, let us not lose sight of the essence of personal development, the understanding that we are works in progress, that perfection is a myth, and that the beauty of our journey lies in our imperfections. It's in these imperfections that our unique potential shines brightest, that our true selves emerge from the shadows of the ordinary. As we weave our threads into the fabric of life, let us do so with the vibrant colors of personal development. Let us commit to a life of continuous growth, to the pursuit of knowledge, to the embrace of discipline, and to the resilience in the face of obstacles. For it is in this commitment that we find the keys to unlocking our true potential, to rising above the ordinary, and to etching our names in the halls of greatness. Now, as we stand at the crossroads of our journey, faced with the infinite paths that stretch out before us, let us choose the path of personal development. Let us take the first step with confidence, Knowing that each step we take on this path intertwines our thread with the threads of those who dare to dream, to grow, and to achieve. Together, let us weave a tapestry so magnificent, so vibrant, that it stands as a testament to the extraordinary lives we have chosen to lead. Imagine for a moment the power that lies in clarity of vision. Picture the sculptor before the untouched block of marble, eyes gleaming with the vision of the masterpiece that lies within. Just as the sculptor sees the statue within the marble, so must we see the future we wish to create within the vastness of possibility that surrounds us. This clarity of vision, this detailed blueprint of our future, is the first step in setting goals. It is about seeing beyond the horizon, about dreaming in vivid colors and bold strokes, but it goes beyond mere dreaming. It is about crystallizing these dreams into clear, actionable goals that serve as stepping stones towards our aspiration. But how does one master the art of goal setting? It starts with the courage to ask ourselves what we truly desire, to peer into the depths of our hearts and unearth the dreams we've buried under their the what ifs in some days. It's about writing these dreams down, not as distant wishes, but as concrete goals with timelines with plans of action. This act of writing is a declaration, a commitment to ourselves that we are ready to embark on this journey towards achieving greatness. Setting goals, however, is more than just an exercise in dreaming and planning. It is an ongoing dialogue with our future selves, a process that requires constant reflection and adaptation. As we grow, as we evolve, our goals too must transform expanding to encompass the new horizons we aspire to reach. This fluidity, this willingness to adapt, ensures that our goals always reflect our highest aspirations and deepest desires. Yet, what is a goal without action? A map unused, a journey not taken. Taking action on our goals breathes life into our plans, transforming the intangible into the tangible. It is in the doing that we encounter the essence of achievement. Each action, each step forward, no matter how small, is a testament to our commitment to our dreams. It is in the accumulation of these steps that the impossible begins to seem possible, that mountains are moved and that the ordinary is transcended. But let us not be disillusioned. The path to achieving our goals is seldom straight. It is a path fraught with challenges, with moments of doubt, with trials that test our resolve. 
Yet it is precisely these challenges that offer us the greatest opportunity for growth. Each obstacle overcome, each setback turned into a comeback, is a victory not just for today, but for the extraordinary life we are building. It is in the overcoming that we forge our resilience that we sculpt our character into that of a true achiever. Now imagine standing at the summit of your achievements, looking back at the path you've traversed. What stories will you tell? Will they be tales of goals set but not pursued, of dreams dreamt but not lived? Or will they be sagas of battles fought and won, of goals set and achieved, of an ordinary life transformed into an extraordinary one through the power of clear, actionable, and passionately pursued goals? As we continue on this journey of setting goals, let us do so with the understanding that these goals are more than mere destinations. They are expressions of our deepest desires, manifestations of our potential, and testaments to our commitment to rise above the ordinary. Let us set these goals with the clarity of vision, the courage to act, and the resilience to persevere. For it is in the setting and achieving of these goals that we weave the golden threads of our extraordinary destinies. Consider for a moment the power that financial independence wields. It is not merely about possessing wealth, but about mastering it, about turning the table so that money serves you, not the other way around. It's about breaking the chains of financial constraints that limit our choices, that dictate our paths, that cloud our dreams with the fog of uncertainty. But how does one embark on this quest for financial freedom? Is it reserved for the lucky few born into abundance? Or is it a realm accessible to those who dare to seek it with purpose and determination? I stand before you to declare that financial independence is within the grasp of each person willing to embrace the principles of wise financial stewardship, diligent planning, and disciplined investment in oneself. The journey begins with a simple yet profound shift in mindset from seeing money as a master to viewing it as a tool, a resource that when wisely managed, can unlock doors to opportunities, to growth, and to this shift in perspective is the bedrock upon which the edifice of financial independence is built. But a mindset alone, no matter how enlightened, cannot pave the streets with gold. It must be coupled with action, informed, deliberate, and consistent action. The first step on this path is the cultivation of financial literacy. In a world where knowledge is power, understanding the language of money, the nuances of investing, saving, and spending is akin to possessing a map in the quest for treasure. Imagine the possibilities that unfold when you invest in your financial education, when you delve into the mysteries of compound interest, the strategies of diversification, the wisdom of living within your means. These are not mere financial tactics. They are the keys to unlocking a life of abundance and freedom. Yet knowledge and action must walk hand in hand with discipline. The discipline to save before spending, to invest in assets that grow in value, to resist the siren calls of instant gratification that lead many astray on their journey towards financial independence. It is this discipline, practiced day in and day out, that transforms ordinary earners into extraordinary stewards of wealth. And let us not forget the power of multiple streams of income, the wisdom of not placing all our eggs in one basket. In the pursuit of financial independence, diversity is not just a strategy. It is a safeguard, a means to ensure that when the winds of fortune change, our financial ships remain steady, our dreams undeterred. But perhaps the most profound realization on this journey is the understanding that financial independence is not an end in itself but a means to a greater end. It is the freedom to pursue your passions without constraint, to contribute to the causes that stir your heart, to spend your days not in the pursuit of money, but in the pursuit of purpose, of joy, of meaning. As we navigate the waters towards financial independence, let us do so with the knowledge that the true measure of our wealth is not found in our bank accounts, but in the richness of our lives, in the freedom to live on our own terms, to make choices that reflect our deepest values and aspirations. And so as we draw this conversation to a close, let us look forward with hearts full of hope, 
with minds open to learning and with spirits committed to the discipline and action required to achieve financial independence. Let this be the beginning of a journey, not just towards financial freedom, but towards a life of purpose, of fulfillment, of extraordinary achievement. In this journey of transcending the ordinary, of weaving our unique threads into the fabric of greatness, let us remember that the pursuit of personal development, the art of setting and achieving goals, and the quest for financial independence are not just steps towards living an extraordinary life. They are the very essence of it. But as we look ahead, let us not be daunted by the magnitude of the journey that lies before us. Instead, let us embrace it with open hearts and minds, bold by the knowledge that the steps we take today, no matter how small, are the building blocks of the extraordinary lives we aspire to lead. Remember, it is not the swiftness of our stride, but the certainty of our step that marks our progress towards our goals. It is not the size of our dreams, but the depth of our commitment to them that determines our success. Let us also remember that this journey is not one we undertake alone. Along the way, we will encounter fellow travelers, each with their dreams, each with their challenges. Let us reach out to them with kindness, with understanding, and with the willingness to support each other. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in lifting others that we ourselves are lifted towards the heights of our own aspirations. And as we move forward, let us carry with us the lessons we have learned, the wisdom we have garnered, and the insights we have gained. Let them be the compass that guides us, the light that illuminates our path and the anchor that keeps us grounded amidst the storms we may face. But above all, let us never lose sight of why we embarked on this journey in the first place, our pursuit of personal development, our dedication to setting and achieving goals, our quest for financial independence. These are but means to a greater end. They are the avenues through which we find our purpose, through which we express our deepest passions, and through which we make our unique mark on the world. So, as we conclude our time together, let us not say farewell, but rather let us say, until we meet again. For this is not the end of our journey, but merely the beginning. It is the first step on a lifelong path of growth, discovery, and achievement. It is the dawn of a new day, filled with promise, with potential, and with the boundless possibilities that await us. Let us step forth with courage, with confidence, and with the unwavering belief in our ability to transform our lives, to rise above the ordinary, and to live the extraordinary lives we were meant to live. For in the end, it is not just the destination that matters, but the journey itself, and what a magnificent journey it promises to be.